And we're glad you're with us tonight. Deputies in Anderson County are searching for two men who they say shot into a vehicle wounding a toddler. Uh, a little girl expected to be okay, but people who live in that area are obviously quite concerned about what happened. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford with the very latest on that investigation. The sheriff tells me what they know right now is that fireworks were being shot out of a vehicle at a group of people. Then that group returned with gunfire. Now tonight, deputies are searching for those suspects. Drive through the southwest streets of Anderson. 66 years. I was born on this street, went to Tennessee for 15 years, and moved back on this street. I heard anything or seen anything about that shooting. And you may stumble yeah. upon Terry Chapman. Well, I just told him I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the neighborhood back. An area once riddled with crime has turned a new leaf. So all I heard was fireworks, and then I heard you can tell the difference. Or so Chapman thought. There was a uh, scenario, I think, where there were some fireworks being shot at some folks, and they returned with gunfire. The sheriff tells me it all happened somewhere on Evergreen Street just before 8 last night. My baby took one in the leg. One of those bullets hitting little three-year-old Aubrey in the leg. Y'all see my baby leg. As she recovers, deputies are searching for two young white men believed to be involved. Well, last night we set up a perimeter uh, search for the two males, and and just uh, you know probably couldn't get the perimeter set up in time, but uh, had a good track on them and all that. Just lost them in some thick brush. So the sheriff is calling on this community for help. A call Chapman hopes is answered as they work to bring the good back to their streets. Just now I got the, the elderly people sitting out on the porch, walking the streets. Uh, it, it's, it's just trying to turn back, but we ain't, we ain't gonna let that happen somehow. Now we did talk to Aubrey's family today who didn't want to go on camera, but they do tell me that she's expected to make a full recovery just before her fourth birthday next week. In Anderson County, Nicole Fort, 7 News. In Lawrence County,